uh, as Sears mentioned, my new CD is called My Celtic Heart, and they are all Celtic songs that I grew up singing. I was in one of those families that it just seemed normal that rather than always watching TV in the evenings, occasionally Dad would bring out his guitar and we'd just sing folk songs together, which was kind of a neat way to grow up. And Dad and Mom both were fascinated by old Irish rebel songs and Scottish tales and ballads and all sorts of great stuff. And so I, I grabbed uh, 16 of my favorite ones and we re-recorded them this summer, and so that's what's on that album. And I want to do a medley of two of them now, one of which got me in trouble in kindergarten. <laughs> well, I, technically it got my parents in trouble when I was in kindergarten. So imagine, if you will, uh, four-year-old me, little blonde pigtails, and um, Mrs. Lynn talked to all of her four-year-old charges in the kindergarten class one day and she said, I would like you all to go home tonight and learn a new song for tomorrow's circle time. <laughs> and so I happily, with my little blonde pigtails of waggling here, went home and told my parents. And they looked one to the other and they went, <laughs> So the next, morning, the next morning, I go back into kindergarten, little pigtails of Bobbin. And when it comes around to my turn, all the other kids had learned the Itsy Bitsy Spider and the alphabet song, and I stood up, and I, in a loud voice, sang a blood and guts fighting Northern Irish rebel song. <laughs> Not just that. You have to picture this. This is in Toronto, so there on the wall of our schoolroom, as every schoolroom in Canada, is the portrait of our queen. <laughs> and I, in my four-year-old innocence, did what my parents told me you do at the end of singing a blood and guts fighting Northern Irish rebel song. I put my little fist in the air and I went down with England. <laughs> at a weak moment when they will admit what was discussed. <laughs> I, was, I was allowed to stay in kindergarten, so I, I guess they excused themselves pretty well. <laughs> but uh, So I have quite literally been singing uh, these songs since I was yay tall. They are usually done as real sort of rabble-rousing songs, but when you listen to the lyrics of a lot of them, they're about losing heroes, which happens even in the 21st century. So we do them a little differently these days. <laughs> See if you recognize either one of these.
on the bridge of two today. When last this narrow street he trod, his shining pike in hand, behind him marched in grim array our stalwart fighting men. Two Oh